Hey, in Mexico traffic, Spirit Mall 750 Super Duty is going to depart runway 1A will be uh, West Departure, Mexico. That pops the nose off quickly, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Departed uh, Mexico uh, Memorial Airport in Mexico, Missouri, and we're uh, kind of flying westbound right now, uh, out toward the uh, well, southwest, out toward the Missouri River, and we're uh, planning to meet up with uh, Steve Smith of uh, Santa Rosa, California. And Steve is a longtime uh, Zenith uh, first builder and now a pilot. He has a CH601XL. And he's flying his XL all the way across uh, from California to the East Coast. The important thing about this trip is he's following rivers. So uh, he actually deviated way out of his way to the to the north, uh, to North Dakota, Idaho, North Dakota, and uh, picked up the at the at the beginning of the the source of the Missouri River, and he's been following it all the way through. So we're going to be meeting up with him uh, shortly. Uh, a little bit west of uh, a little bit west of Jefferson City, the state capital of Missouri, and we'll uh, plan to join him there for lunch, and then maybe fly a little bit more with them after that. And uh, I'm here with Roger in the uh, Stoll CH750 Super Duty, and uh, we have our friend Dennis in the Stoll CH701 ahead of us, and uh, so we'll be playing around with three different airplanes over the Missouri River. And a beautiful day here in uh, Central Missouri warm summer day and uh, we'll kind of record and share with you our flying experiences. So if you stay right behind him, below him, we'll get him on the camera. Yep. Yeah, pretty clouds out today. Oh yeah. Yeah, thanks. I've got a lot of glare in it. 
them, it's hard for me to see if I'm getting glare or not. And then when I look at them when I get home, I go, God damn it, what'd I do that for? Uh, you must be getting good at it, because most of them are awesome. Yep, thanks. So we got Steve on the radio, and uh, he's uh, a little bit farther uh, west of us. He's actually heading east, we're heading west. And we're going to meet up uh, probably a little bit west of uh, Bruderville, Missouri, right on the river. And uh, we'll just plan on following the river, and uh, he's following the river. We'll probably go on opposite sides of the river, so to avoid any uh, any air-to-air uh, -air stuff. But uh, we'll be staying in touch with him. And uh, again, we have Dennis in front of us in the uh, Stoll CH-701, and uh, Roger and I are in the cruiser in Super Duty. Bird there, see the bird? Whoa, see that bird? <laughs> we don't know which way to go. Yeah, that's pretty pretty neat there, Dennis. Could you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that bird was doing aerobatics, man. Yeah, he did. He was looking, trying to look behind him, and he didn't know which way to go. <laughs> so already here now, we've got the uh, Missouri River on uh, on our left. And uh, we're kind of angling in a little bit, and uh, we'll see the, the uh, Missouri River Valley. Now this weekend, uh, I'll be cycling right along that Missouri River, uh, the Peddler's Jamboree. It's a music festival bike ride going about 40 miles from Columbia, Missouri to Boothville, Missouri, where there's a music concert. And it's a Memorial Day weekend event. That's always a fun bike ride. Beautiful along the river on the one side, and then bluffs on the uh, other side. A lot of fun. Uh, you can see there the I-70 bridge crossing the uh, Missouri River. Just to the uh, east of I-70 is uh, Rocheport, Missouri, a historical uh, river town. The Arrow Rock uh, sandbar ought to be uh, well above water. Yeah, I've never landed on that sandbar. That's a good one. We're headed for the... Uh, community of Arrow Rock. It's on the river just on the west side. There's a big bend in the river and a really nice sandbar to play on right on the east side of the uh, All right, well, I'll probably come to it eventually. You should be passing right over it. Shortly. Steve, I'll show you uh, a few miles from Glasgow. Is that uh, what you're seeing? Well, let's see. I'm seeing a town called Cambridge on my map. I think it's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, there's Glasgow. Yep. Yeah, we'll be south of Glasgow down by Arrow Rock. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, I'll see you when I get there. All right. <laughs> Glasgow is an interesting historical little town. Uh, I can't remember, their bridge has some historical significance. I can't remember if it was like the the first steel bridge of its kind ever built there or something like that, but uh, they're pretty proud of it. Well, I'll get a picture of it then, post it on the internet. There you go. And uh, I think there's a steel, there's the old bridge right next to it, and then they have a new bridge, a new, uh, a new highway bridge, and I think it's the uh, railroad bridge, that's the old one. And you'll see it's like literally right next to it. I like those pictures where I get a couple bridges and a power plant or something all together. Yeah, exactly. Both Lexington and Glasgow had major battles in, during the Civil War also. That's right, yeah. Sam, I think I'll go for a walk on the sandbar. If it feels good, I'll probably just sit down. Cool, that'd be fun. There's a bald eagle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> He's just soaring there, isn't uh -huh. he? Barely moving his wings. That's pretty cool. 
saw a bald eagle down there. Down below us? Yeah, yeah, it was way out of the way. I'm going to approach the bar from the north. Here, is that uh, south of the barge you see on the river there? Yeah, uh, around the corner. Uh, you just can't quite see it because of the hill. It might be coming into view right about now. Okay, we'll just stay out of your way. Oh, I see the sandbar. Yeah, that is a nice sandbar. Oh yeah, and it's nice and high. Oh, he landed. <laughs> Get out of the way, tell him to get out of your way. Get out of the way, Dennis. Yeah, beautiful. Sweet. She's not quite as smooth as she normally is, but she's still doable. Are you? You touched down before he did, and you rolled just as right. long as he did, so right. you did quite well. I've got a tuck pushing a... Yeah, that's down. beautiful. Let's stop here. here, man. We're just south of the barge, on the sandbar. All right, I'll look for you. Not too bad if you want to try it, Steve. Plenty of distance. There he is, there he is, cool. We see you. If you maintain our tracks, you won't have an issue. There's a little hoopty doos here and there, but it's not bad. Uh, it's softer, definitely closer to the river, it seems like, than if you go further south. Sand. Here, stop her up. Get out. We gonna shut down, Dennis? Sure. Hey, we should have brought our lunch, man.
Below us, it's, it's angled down a little bit, kind of straight behind us. I believe a little bit to mop to our right. You should be able to see that camera and look right into it. The camera itself is on the rear tie down ring. Okay, uh, we're right behind you. Yeah, that would have been a little soft for him. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't land in there because that was that was very soft sand. Yeah, I've never seen it any softer than that. Yeah, my sandals are even full of sand. Shoes are too. Located Dennis. Right side of the river. Uh, yeah, he's nice not on site. Uh, we're about a oh, quarter mile behind you, maybe. Okay.
Dennis, you could just land right here on the, the north side of the river in the field, put a tent right there on that levee right there. Yeah, as long as the farmer didn't see me. Yeah, but there's no houses around at all. Oh, there's lots of places out here to land. Oh, there's a kayak or something in the water. Well, the pictures are all but uploaded. Let's see if it's, uh, it's still working on it, but most of them are up already. That's amazing. <laughs> That's done. So they're all up there. And I'm sure a bunch of them uh, are misframed and so forth. It's kind of hard to shoot at a high bank angle and hold the camera. And, uh, I just take enough that some turn out. Yeah, that's uh, Boonville right here, and uh, it's a casino. That whole casino, that Isla Capri, it is actually a floating platform. Yep, just got a picture. We've got the Aerosport uh, 375, it's 205 horses fuel injection. It's uh, basically a Lycoming. bicycling and so forth. We do it all the time. I think I've seen posts on your, maybe your Google page or something about somewhere I saw that. Yeah, this weekend we're doing a 40-mile bike ride from uh, Columbia to basically back to Booneville, the town we just passed. That's neat. There's power lines up here. Those are buttes. I love those. Yeah, either go above or below, but don't uh, watch those power lines. You know, I try not, you know, the thing about going below, especially in the big canyons, is sometimes there's a smaller set of wires below the big ones that you're staring at. You always have to look for multiple sets. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Second set of power lines here. Where are they? Straight ahead. Oh, now I see them. You're, you're good. You see, there's no markers on those, though. So. No. Yeah, I dip. Those ones, you probably wouldn't want to go below because they dip way down. Yeah. See, yeah. they go from there and dip way down. Yeah. Almost better to watch on the edge of the river. Uh, well, exactly, on the trees. On the trees, yeah. Over the water, you don't see them at all. You're right. Here you get some 
few more sandbars past there. Oh. I can't Roger, see them. You see, there's a bunch of houses. The right. Uh, right in the bend is Airplane Island, and then just past it is that California island I was talking about. Exactly. California is where uh, that buddy of mine lost his nose wheel. I had to fly in and get some repairs done for him so he could fly out. What, what can you do there? They just had it's just food and music. They got a, it's like a restaurant in there. It's like yeah. Fish Katie's. Well, it's technically not Campus Katie's anymore, but it's a uh, Challenger. Uh, yeah. Kind of a bad ultralight. Weekends usually have music there. It's kind of cool. It's, it's just a, a good spot just to drive up even. I've uh, flown around with a couple guys with Challengers. They actually flew all around the western United States. And then uh, where's our big oak tree? The big oak tree. See that oak tree that's standing there? That's the famous big oak. You see, that's, it's starting to die because the leaves, see, it's, they're, it's very late for the leaves. What's so uh, famous about it? Old? It's just old. You see it right on the side of the road there? Yeah. I'm surprised the leaves are not popping on it as quickly as they should be. It's probably slowly dying. Yes, uh, we had some heavy rains a couple of days ago. And then uh, this is Eagles Bluff Conservation Area right out here. And on the right they'll have like a lookout area. I guess now Eagles are everywhere so it's not special anymore, but for a while there, you know, 20 years ago. Our set of power lines coming up way over there. We got balls on it. Well, I guess I'll strafe this sandbar. There's another set of power lines behind the sandbar. I've got them. Oh yeah, he's underneath us. As you really. <laughs> yeah, you guys see there's hawks and stuff out there. Yeah. They're usually not over the river, they're usually, oh yeah, cool, look at that, that's awesome, look at that. <laughs> well, yeah, Roger's on the right side of the river and I'm on the left. I'm on your left, Steve. Okay. And you got the power lines inside, eh, Steve? Yep. See there, going across. Uh -huh. He's not really high, much higher than them, is he? Uh-uh. Well, you gotta hand it to Steve. He just knows his airplane so well oh, and yeah. stuff. Uh, Cooper's landing will be coming up soon somewhere. I don't. Uh, A, uh, 3362. Yeah, 
Actually, I take it back. It was uh, Nebraska and South Dakota is what the rivers or the states on the river were back there. It's, it's a great little airplane. I like my 701. I should have had a lot of fun in this one. Especially at uh, Cairo or Cairo, as they call it, uh, there's full of barges around there because of the well, the two they kind of uh, meet up there. That'll well, make for some good pictures. Remarks: Density altitude 2,000. Port Jefferson City, Missouri. Automated weather observation. Guys, I'm going to switch over to tower frequency. Uh, they are using one two. Go on into the terminal. Well, that's not the ATIS because that was just the AWOS. I think that's one and the same, is it? I don't think they have a true ATIS there. Whiskey Foxtrot still in trail to sub 50, and I'm showing three miles out. 
Experiment 01, Whiskey Fox Strut, uh, Roger, continue your approach, break, uh, Experiment 2 Alpha Zulu, turn right Alpha 2, Texas Park, monitor ground, point seven. Alpha 2 to apron, uh, monitor, point seven, two Alpha Zulu. Yankee November, runway 121170 at this 7, uh, clear to land. Spare ball, 7 Yankee November, clear to land, 1-2. Zodiac 1, Whiskey Foxtrot, runway 12, wind 170 at 7, clear to land, number 2. Yeah. I was going to say, I've never landed on that, I don't know. Yeah, that's the big one. one. This is their big one. Right. That's yeah. their... It does look like that's an east-west. <laughs> I know. Well... Zodiac, he's uh, inside of the 3 miles there, and about a 2 mile final. You're going to be number 3 for the runway. It's so loud when you and I talk, I can't I know. We'll be number three for the runway, extending our downwind, 62 Romeo. Uh, Zodiac 1, Whiskey Fox, are you going to have enough room there, sir? Yeah, I'll back off a little bit. Ready? Yeah, we're not quite a flight legally, but we've been flying together for the last hour and a half. Right here, then. If you would advise when you have that traffic inside, the lead aircraft's uh, coming just over Highway 54 and the other one's going to be behind him. We have the lead aircraft in sight, looking for the traffic on the second. That's a 6-2 Romeo, Roger. He's uh, coming up uh, right behind him there. Traffic in sight. This is a 6-2 Romeo, Roger. Base approved, runway 1-2, clear for the option uh, number 2 now. Tower to make it easy for you, we'll just call us a flight if you'd like. No, we're clear to this flight, thank you. Right. Nice. That's Alpha awesome. Zero Yankee November, right at Alpha 2, taxi park. Uh, Roger that. Uh, off on Alpha 2, 2 parking, Yankee November. Yeah, it's a pretty nice tower here, I think. Oh, yeah.